I remember as, as, as a great dancer, as a great personality in many ways. He had enormous technical prowess, he had enormous charisma. This kind of stylistic dancing, this unique movements and fantastic stage presence is something which we have not seen before and very rarely seen since. It shows you typically the choreography and the genius of Rudy, of Rudolf Nureyev. I traveled to Russia a lot in those days. And then when I went to Leningrad, when I went to the performances in the Kirov Theater, he was dancing, of course. He was already recognized in Russia or the USSR as one of the great, great dancers. There's no question about that. So when I came back to, to, to London, <coughs> Um, I, I started negotiating with the Russians and they agreed to send to, to this company uh, to, to, to England for, for, for a season. This original poster for the first appearance of the Kirov Valley or the Marinsky Valley and among the stars you can see Nureyev. Now he never turned up for this one. The first leg was in Paris, and then, of course, from Paris, they were coming straight to London, and we didn't expect anything, we just went to the airport. On the 16th of June, 1961, Nureyev set off for the airport to fly to London with the rest of the Kirov company on the next leg of their tour. He didn't yet know that the Soviet authorities had decided he was a security risk and were planning to send him back to Russia instead. At the last minute, Rather than board the plane to Russia, Nureyev broke away from his minders and asked the airport authorities for asylum in France. He jumped over the barrier and decided to, to defect. Nureyev's defection caused a worldwide sensation. He became known as the man who had pierced the Iron Curtain. I think it was simply a question of being by nature, by temperament, wild and being provoked into going back to Moscow when he was looking forward to come to London. He was totally, utterly disinterested in politics. He was interested in, in his art, in his own glory, but the idea of communism or it didn't even enter, it, it was not a factor for him. At the tender age of 23, Nureyev found himself at the center of a media spotlight, which wouldn't dim for years to come. What kind of parts do you want to dance, most of all? Uh, Actually, I'm a, a romantic kind of dancer, but I would like to dance uh, modern things and uh, to try every uh, different way. He was a great dancer, of course, but he was able to mesmerize the world of ballet, and he was a great influence. He transformed the whole aspect, the whole, the, whole, the whole scene of ballet. It's, it's, it's impossible to overestimate the influence. It, it, it was unique, certainly, to this very day.